Hi, this is meteorologist Steve Pelletieri, and we're in the month of September. Finally, after a beautiful Labor Day across much of the central and northern tier of the nation and the east, looks like more great weather is going to be with us over the next several days. This great weather, courtesy of an area of high pressure that's down from the Great Lakes and out of central Canada, is a catalyst for causing a lot of ragweed pollen and also general pollen at a high level. So if you are a sufferer of hay fever, hay fever, and uh, allergies, in the autumn, it's going to be a tough week, despite the fact that we're going to have some great weather, uh, mostly from the eastern seaboard, southward to the Virginias, and then uh, westward as you go into the Ohio and Tennessee Valley, all the way through the Great Lakes, even into the Dakotas and the Central Plains states, those places at, at severe levels of uh, ragweed pollen. And uh, elsewhere across the nation, except for the Gulf Coast, we are looking at uh, at least moderate to very high levels of ragweed and general pollen across the area, uh, including grass pollens as well. So the pollen situation, the bad news out of the way. The good news is we've got some great weather for the Northeast Carter from D.C. right up to the Boston area. Uh, today, probably right up through Friday, we're going to have great weather. Highs in the 70s, nighttime lows in the 50s. Some places in eastern PA and up in central portions of New York State around the Finger Lakes, it'll be down into the 40s, lower 40s in those places. And that'll be at nighttime. The days are getting shorter as the morning sunrise is happening a little bit later, sunset a little bit earlier, and you can feel the difference to the air as we get into the month of September, a month that usually gives us some excellent conditions across the nation. So uh, let's take a look in detail. Aviation-wise, if you're traveling on this Tuesday, that big area of high pressure centered right across the northeast. No problems in D.C., Philadelphia, New York, Newark, LaGuardia, JFK, and even up to Boston, up to Buffalo, Albany, all the way out to Detroit, and even into Chicago, Minneapolis, St. Paul. No problems weather-wise there. Charlotte's looking good, as does Nashville, northern portions of uh, Georgia, all under clear sky. So Atlanta, no problems there. It's along the Gulf Coast, as I mentioned there are some showers in central and southern Florida all along the Gulf Coast to the Texas Gulf Coast. And then those places, there will be heavier thunderstorms, so some delays into Houston, uh, light to moderate delays into the Dallas-Fort Worth area, especially during the afternoon because of thunderstorms. Elsewhere on the West Coast, still dry from San Diego all the way up to Seattle, including L.A. and San Francisco, so no problems expected there. So weather-wise, we've got some great weather. This big area, a high pressure that's building across the region. It looks like it'll last through a good balance of this week. We'll update you again on Wednesday morning. Hope you have a great day today. Thanks for listening. Take care.